Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. Today I'm at one of my besties house and I'm so excited. I'll be making a wreath with this adorable strawberry truck. Have you seen these? They have a whole collection at the Dollar Tree and this is her favorite. I'm so excited to help her out and create something beautiful and on the budget. If you enjoy this type of videos, please make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel because there's many more creative ideas coming up, okay? All right, let's get started. For those of you who love my Tweety Bird, I'm gonna show you something really funny she did at the end of this video. For today's DIY, you're gonna need the little track sign. As I mentioned, it's one of four. I was lucky enough to find all of them. Let me know which one you want me to do next. I was thinking watermelon. For the base, we're going to use the wood blend reef. It is 12 inches in diameter. We are going to need a lot of greenery and florals, red, white, a touch of yellow, daisies, anything that is going to go with strawberries. And Hobby Lobby sells the strawberry ribbon. If you like it, grab it right now, it's on sale. They have a watermelon one too. You know it won't last long. I also recommend this Pearl Edge Burlap Ribbon. It's an amazing find for $2 on sale plus some Dollar Tree ribbon. I hope you stacked up. This one was available during Valentine's, but when I look at it, I see picnic, I see 4th of July, so year-round ribbon. Also, we are going to use some strawberries. You can find a bag of fruit at Happy Lobby. If you are a fan of strawberry decor, you might want to check out my video from last year, especially this amazing edible centerpiece that I made. It's like a staple at any summer party now. <laughs> just so cute and delicious smells divine um i also have a like a sample place setting for you for a barbecue just too cute make sure you check it out okay i'll provide a link for you today i start off by placing that track sign on top of my reef and marking where i need to attach it i'm going to use two pieces of the floral wire on both ends attach it with a lot of hot glue and cover with a piece of ribbon. We use these ties to attach the sign to the reef. Next, we are going to make a bow. Measure 12 inch tail, pinch, measure another 12 inches, fold in half, that gives you six inch loop, uh, again, 12 inches, fold 6 inches, uh, one more, 12, fold in half. So we have four 6-inch loops here, and we are cutting a tail 12 inches. We are going to tie it together with a pipe cleaner. Just a simple 4-loop bow. We are going to make another one on top of it. Just a bit smaller. Let's measure 11 inches, pinch. Again, 11 inches, pinch, fold in half. That's a five and a half inch loop. We make another one at the bottom and one more, 11, fold in half, five and a half. So we have three loops and two tails. We are going to tie this bow on top of the first one. We are going to space these loops in between the other four. Very simple, pretty bow. If you have more ribbon, you can continue layering. 10 inches, again, 10 inches fold in half, that's a five inch loop. Another loop, 10 fold in half, five, and a tail, 10 inches. We are going to tie it on top. If you want, you can stop here. We have another ribbon, so we're gonna make another one. <laughs> we measure nine inch tail, pinch, and nine inches folded in half, that's a four and a half inch loop. Again, nine inches pinch, that's a four and a half inch loop. And I think I want to make one more loop here. Let's measure again, nine pinch fold in half, that's three loops and two tails right there. 
We are going to tie this bow on top of the whole thing. Let's see. Just fluff it up a little bit. And I think it's such a beautiful full bow. Let's cut the fishtails. You fold the ribbon in half and cut diagonally towards the wired edge. I'm looking at this, I think I need a little bit more strawberry on top. I'm going to measure eight inches, pinch, measure another eight inches and just make a one four inch loop and cut off the ribbon. So two tails and just one loop just for some color punch on top. Let's see this. Yes, this was a good call. Sometimes the ribbon gets buried. So adding just a little bit on top, ties the whole thing together and makes a beautiful ribbon. Look at that. I'm taking another pipe cleaner, feeding it through the top of the bow and going to attach it to my reef. Right underneath the truck, I'm just feeding through the pipe cleaners. I wish this form was a bit bigger, 14 inches would be great, but that's all my friend had and that's all that uh, Dollar Tree sells lately. But we're going to make it work. Cut apart your greenery, I'm going to show you how to extend this reef. First you insert these long stems on both sides of the bow. Simply use some hot glue at each tip and insert it in the reef. Let me show you something. You insert your stem with the grain of the vines and then you can bend it in any direction that you need it to go into. Now for the top of the reef, you can cut your leaves in half, just like so, and insert them around the form. Make sure you insert some on the outside of the form and some on the inside, just like so. Next, you are going to cut apart your florals and we are going to add them one type at a time. We start with dahlias, just add them around the reef in a zigzag pattern up and down. Next, we are going to add a piece of a flower stem uh, to each strawberry to create a little strawberry picks, just like that. But before I add these in, let me break up the red with some white lilac. I'm just going to insert a, a stem here and there, first on both sides of the bow and then around the reef. All right, let's insert our little strawberries. And since I have the little picks, now I'm able to reach the reef form and insert them directly in there, still in the back of the track. Let me add one in the middle here as well, just for fun. <laughs> I 
And now let's add some little daisies here and there. And now to extend my wreath around the top, I'm going to add some of these green picks. If your wreath form is showing anywhere, like if you take a peek in there like that, just use some green leaves and stick them in between. When you think you're done, take a step back, take a look at your reef, see if something's missing. Like for me, I'm thinking I need one more red flower here. <laughs> also, my friend found some of these little flowers. I think they're dogwood from Dollar Tree. And they remind us of the strawberry blossoms. So we're just going to insert a couple of these uh, by the bow. Have to trim it if it's a little bit too long. Oh, I forgot I had some header as well. I'm going to insert a few here and there as well. And we are done. We just have to make a hanger, inserting a pipe cleaner at the top. We are going to tie it there. And at this point, you can see how tiny the form is compared to our reef, right? <laughs> and I hope you like the final result. If you do, please give me those little strawberry emojis. All right, my besties, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I inspired you a little bit. If I did, please make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be many more creative ideas on the budget coming up, okay? Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. And here's my naughty Tweety bird. <laughs> She tried to take a bath in my uh, glass of water the other day, so I decided to give her a bigger ball because I thought it was just hilarious. Look at her. <laughs>